Hello, welcome to Music Theory Grade 1, Week 17. Week 17, we're talking about rhythm. Rhythms. In the Grade 1 Music Theory exam, you'll be probably have to write two bars of rhythm as an answer to two given bars. The question could look something like this. Write a two-bar rhythm as an answer to the given rhythm. So you are given two bars and you need to write two bars again. Check the time signature. The first thing you need to do is look at the time signature. This tells you how many beats you will need to write in each bar. So it's very important. In the above question, the time signature is 2-4. So we will need to write note values which add up to two crochets or quarter notes beats in each bar. Always double check your finished rhythm to make sure you have the right number of beats. When you beam or join notes together, make sure that you beam each group correctly. See lesson 8 for beaming for more details about beaming. For grade 1, the rhythm will be in 2 4, 3 4, or 4 4 time with no upbeat. Look at the existing rhythms. The next thing you should do is look at the kinds of rhythm which have already been used in the first two parts. What node values were used and which values weren't used. In our question, we've got crochet quavers and semi quavers we don't have any dotted notes and we don't have any ties you should use similar kinds of rhythms in your answering phrase as you have in the given phrase each bar must have a connection but watch out it's not a good idea to invent completely new rhythms for the whole of the answering phrase you are being marked for your sense of balance, not on how widely creative you can be. Also, don't use too many rests. The examiner wants to see a rhythm, not bars of silence. Finishing correctly. You should end your phrase with a reasonable long note. Usually, this means a crochet or a minim. Phrases which end on quavers or semi-quavers sound too abrupt don't write the melody don't forget that you only need to write a rhythm in grade one music theory use the same note as given in the example don't start writing notes of other pitches sample answers here are some example answers with comments so we have two four Comments the semi quavers, 16th notes from the original have been reused with some other imaginative material, e.g., the dotted rhythm. So, for this, you can get 10 out of 10. The second one, there's hardly any connection between the given and the answering phrase. There's no good reason for the rest. And the end either so for this you can get 8 out of 10 so there's no reason for a rest here reuse rhythms to write an answering rhythm you should reuse some part of the given rhythm but don't just copy it exactly look at the blocks which occur on each bit we could describe the above rhythm as three different blocks like this crochet two quavers four semi quavers you could use the same blocks of rhythm but change their order make sure that no two bars are identical though or you could keep a complete or you could keep a couple of the simpler blocks the same, but swap the others. You will get the maximum 
of 7 out of 10 for simply reversing the rhythm like this. So you can reverse it. You can re uh, reverse part three and part four. Or you can even invent something completely new, but only for one or two bits worth 10 out of 10. You need to reference the given material, which means reuse a bit of it and then create something else which is new and interesting. This makes a balanced rhythm. This is just an exact copy of the given pass. So you can get 7 out of 10. The number of bits in the third bar is wrong. Bar 4 is copy of bar 2. So you can get 5 out of 10. Nothing much of the given phrase have been used. Both bars 3 and 4 contain the wrong number of bits. And it's not a good idea to write exactly the same rhythm in each bar. So you can get 4 out of 10. Thank you for watching and let's meet again next time.